All right, today I'm going to swap a keyboard on a Lenovo T410 laptop. It's one of the ones that I bought, discovered uh, some of the keys don't work. The 1, 2, Q, W, A, S, Z, X keys. And I think these other ones don't work either. It's just on that one little section. So I'm going to swap it out. This is my replacement keyboard that I just got. All it is is just one little ribbon. And uh, we'll pop that in test it out. Alright, first thing you want to get the battery out of the way. And next you got a plate right here. You got to take the screw out and a little thumb screw, you know, screwdriver will work. Alright, feels like it's Out most of the way, yep, and then pop it open. A little something like that there. And then there's a little screw that holds the keyboard in. It'll have a little symbol right there, this little mark right there, if you can see it at the tip of my finger. That's let you know that's the keyboard screw. So get that out. And set that with the plate like that. Then we're ready to flip it back over like this and open it back up. And then you should be able to pop it out. So I can do this here with one hand. Yeah, just like that. Just slides up a little bit. And like that. Now I'll just flip it up like this, and then you've got a ribbon, a little ribbon plug that you can, a little plastic tab, you can just probably use your fingernails to lift up. There, just like that, pops right out. So now we'll get the bad one out of the way. And then, basically in reverse order, go ahead and pop the new keyboard in. It'll only go in one way. So, Just one hand, it's always fun. All right, get it lined up, it snaps right in place. And then put the back end in first, something like that. And then it should snap back in place, but you might want to use a screwdriver or something. Little tabs on the bottom here, just kind of pull it down, a little something like that. It looks like it's seated pretty good. All right, so then flip it back over. Put your screw back in, basically the locking screw for the keyboard. Put it right back into its slot right there. And then Phillips head screwdriver to screw it back in. Like that. Next up is your back plate. Pop it in. A little something like that. The little plastic tabs get lined up there. There you go. And then Phillips screwdriver again to tighten the base plate back in position. And make sure that's all tucked in. Yep, there it is. All good to go. And then tighten it down. Reinstall your battery like that. Flip it back over. And let's start it up. Test the keyboard real quick to see how it does. Old ThinkPad. Windows 10. All right, let it boot up for a bit here. All right, we're fired up, so I'll open up a Word document. And uh, we'll hit all the keys and test them out here. All right, all the numbers work on top. And then we'll do the letters. Yeah, it looks like they're all working. Next row, we'll do the caps lock. And the last row. Yeah, it looks good to me. Looks like they're all working. Of 
cool there you go quick uh, check on uh, replacing a keyboard on a Lenovo T410 and all the keys appear to be functioning like they should so yep that's excellent well great until the next thrilling computer adventure <laughs> adios